Irish football fan TV. I'm here with Aaron McAniff after Shamrock Rovers 1-0 victory over St. Pat's. Courtesy of your penalty. <laughs> um, how did you feel like the game went? Anyway, obviously a very fierce Dublin derby and yeah. tackles were flying in. I seem to remember the first half you got on the end of a, 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 a fierce challenge. But yeah. how would you describe the first half anyway? Uh, I thought we started off really well. I um, thought we were the better team for about... 25, 25 minutes, half an hour, and then uh, we obviously got our goal early, and I thought we were still the better team. But then St. Pat's started to come into it, and they played good football. We knew what they expect. They all, all the St. Pat's teams, they always play good football, and uh, we had an atmosphere that was created tonight. Uh, they were going to be up for it. So um, I thought whenever we got the half time, I thought like we done well to keep a clean sheet and got into the second half. We were confident. Yeah, I thought in the first half is were knocking the ball around quite well, yeah. and even for the for the ball for the for the penalty it was a lovely ball yeah. by Jack Burrow, yeah. and it it ultimately led to the mistake for uh, Aaron came, Green to get taken down. Well, it came it came to me kind of in the air, and I seen Jack Jack picks up nice areas pockets and and between the defence and the midfield, and I've just flicked it in him, and then he slid it through. Uh, I think, as I said, I think we started well, but these games are always going to be frantic with the atmosphere and place like this uh, the crowds on top of you so it can get a bit scrappy then so I think the most important thing was to get the three points and we managed to do that. Yeah absolutely I know you just talked about uh, Jack there he seemed to be playing a lot more kind of uh, as a wide player but tonight he seemed to play in more of a middle was that something he's kind of worked on? I think he just he just goes and picks up good positions they go and get get on the ball and uh, his job's uh, they try and make things happen and uh, he's obviously he's done that tonight and uh, put Greener free and we've got a penalty from it. So um, now he's been he's been good since uh, since Jack, since he's come in. Me and him's obviously come in at the same time and we've got a good relationship and uh, hopefully he just keeps doing well. Yeah, it was obviously uh, important to bounce back uh, against Finn Harps the other night. Now yeah. he's atop the league now after you know people say, saying this and that about you know oh, Rovers same old Rovers. So for your for your sake, it was obviously massive mentality wise to get back to win ways. Well, I think um, going into each game, the aim has to be to get three points. Um, we obviously got beaten the last derby against Bowes, um, and then we got a decent result against Dundalk. Had chances to maybe win the game. Um, and then we obviously won against Van Harp. So uh, coming here tonight uh, with a run of games we have coming up, it was massive uh, to follow up from the game against Van Harp and get th- another three points um, to go and try and stay at top top of the table. Yeah, absolutely. And and you know a lot of people are tipping St Pat's to be up there, kind of rivaling us for you know top spot or top three spot. Anyway. Yeah, well they're they're a good side. Um, they've got a lot of good players. Uh, they like to play good football and they've got a good manager as well. Um, so. W- like I, I expect them to be up around there, um, and I'm, I'm sure they will. Uh, they they give us a good game tonight, so I'm just grateful that we came out with a three points and um, on the next week now. Absolutely. Well, I won't keep you too long because it's absolutely freezing out here. But well done tonight. Thanks very much. Nice call and best luck. Thank you very much, boys.